Ooh. Feeding the content beast. Feeding the content beast is always very, very difficult. So curated content can really help by finding content that you didn't write that maybe the New York Times wrote or the LA Times or a newspaper in London, the London Times, by writing about stuff, by using stuff that they've already written about um, in your content mix. That can be a helpful way to kind of let you off the hook a little bit because then you only need to add your two cents. You don't need to actually write a whole article or write a whole blog post. You can just add your two cents and share it. However, the tricky part is that when you share those links, now all of a sudden your audience is going to their website with their branding and their calls to action. But I'm gonna show you a way that you can, one, find more content to curate, two, add your own branding onto those links, and three, add that curated content into your content mix using Meet Edgar. So I'm gonna walk you through all that right now. I like to think of this as Feedly Meet Snipply. And that's about to make sense in just a moment. But if you could just remember that, that little phrase, feedly, meet, snipply. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to share my screen with you so you can see. So first, I'm going to start here with feedly. Feedly is what's sort of known as an RSS feeder. So you can take different sources of content you can categorize it, and you can basically keep up with their articles or their blog posts. So as you can see here, I've got a whole theater section. I have an up-to-date section, so this is all things that are happening kind of in the world of marketing. Um, yes, yes, I do have a crafting se section. Don't you judge me, the pandemic is hard on all of us. Okay, so, um, so the first thing that I do is usually about once a week, I will go here to Feedly, and this is again, Feedly.com, and this is free. This is a totally free. I don't get paid from them. I do not pay them. So I have already loaded in these different content sources. You can do that here, follow them, blah, blah, blah. But so this is basically a list that I've put together of different sources for links, right? So the complete guide to, I don't know what that is, uh, how to grow your email list with a high converting free offer. Because for me at Downstage Media, we are social media marketing for performing arts organizations. So that means that oftentimes if I'm writing about social media marketing on say Twitter or LinkedIn, I'll mention something about theater. And on the flip side of things, if I'm talking about theater, then I might also uh, talk about that through a marketing lens, right? So you're always kind of getting one or the other. Okay, so let's say that I wanted to um, tweet, that I wanted to tweet this out, right? So this post from uh, The Guardian in England, you can kind of get a little bit of a sense of what it's about. Um, most of the time, I like to read the article all the way through just to make sure, but for our intents and purposes, I'm not going to do that. So I've chosen this piece. This seems like it's a good bet for my audience, and I know that I can bring a marketing angle into this, right? So I'm going to get the link for this article, right? And as you saw, I don't know if you saw over there, but it said that the, um, keep your eye on the bottom right-hand corner because it's going to say that the link is copied to the key to the clipboard. Okay, so that is Feedly, right? But remember, our phrase is Feedly, Meet, Snipply. So let me actually go a little bit out of order for you to understand what Snipply is. Snipply will take links that you have and add them to the bottom of a page. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put that URL in there. Oh, oh, it's not letting me, how interesting. Why would that be? Sometimes it doesn't let you if, let's just try it again. Does this website work altogether? Let me just check that. Well, now you can see how I would troubleshoot this. Okay, so this seems, oh, I know why. Because London, um, London newspapers have different rules and they don't let you use Snipply. 
That's right. I should actually take them off of here. Okay, let's try this again. Take two, everybody. Okay, so uh, so Benj Pasek and Justin Paul are going to be doing this thing. So excited for those guys. Okay, so again, I'm going to go to Feedly. I get the link. The link has been copied to the clipboard. I go to Sniply. And Sniply kind of, I mean, it hasn't totally populated yet, but you would see the Playbill page here. And so you see how down at the bottom it has Downstage Media's logo. And then also it has a call to action. Oh, there we go. It has a call to action and it calls and it has, you know, something else that I've kind of put in there. For me, I like to use a lead magnet. Um, and I've actually found that I can put in different, so I've already created in Snipply these different calls to action. This one seems to be working the best. Build and engage your audience on social media, audit your brand, and that takes you to the brand audit page. What's helpful about this is it has my logo, it has what I'm solving, and it also has the solution. So you see that when I share this, it's going to have my branding at the bottom. So I'm going to snip this. Now I have a link that I can use. I can use this link on LinkedIn. I can use this link on Twitter. I can use this link on Facebook. I can use this link on my Instagram, I don't recommend it because Facebook and Instagram hate links, number one, and number two, they hate shortened linked links. And so that kind of ticks two boxes. You can do it, but just know you're not going to reach a lot of people with it. But that might be a calculated strategy that you do because you're like, I just need content. So fine. Okay. So remember, the phrase is Feedly Meet Snipply. So here I go to Meet Edgar. Now, I do want to say Meet Edgar is something I pay for. Feedly I do not pay for, Snipply I do not pay for. Meet Edgar I do pay for, and if you click on my link, I will get a little bit back from mentioning it. But if you guys have followed me at all, you know that I do not recommend stuff that I don't think is incredibly helpful and useful and something that I've used for at least a couple of years. And Meet Edgar I've used for about a year and a half. Also, bonus, it's a tech company that was started and run by a woman. Woo-hoo. Okay, enough of that, about that. So, Feedly, Meet, Snipply. So, Feedly, we went to Feedly, we got an article, right? Now, I've created in Meet Edgar, first of all, I've added all of these social media accounts right there, and I've kind of created categories. So now this, I'm not gonna put in Facebook because we know Facebook hates pretty links, but I might very well put this in my Twitter feed and I might put this on Downstage Media's LinkedIn page, right? Okay, so then I'm going to paste that link. So Feedly, got the link, Meet Edgar, I'm here at Meet Edgar, and then Snipply. I would post the link from Snipply, but wait a second, um, that link didn't come up. No biggie. Snipply has a plugin that you can use for Chrome. So if you are a Chrome user and you know about using Chrome extensions, the Snipply blog points you through the whole thing and they'll talk you through it. But basically you can either add that Snipply link from here, just copy it, I think I forgot to copy it. Um, copy it and paste it. Or I could have, if I just undo and go back in time, I can go Feedly, get the link, meet, meet Edgar, and then I click this little Snipply link and you see how it does it. It, uh, it says, which one do you wanna use of your calls to action that you've created? I'm gonna choose that one. And then boom. We see that it's there. Now I get to put in my two cents. Um, Pasek and Paul are so savvy with checking in with young people. Their YouTube account 
helped to propel them before they were established. Right, so you see how it's about theater and it's also about social media, right? So that's helpful for my audience. So I've got that post there. This is the attachment that's going to come up on, on there. That's what you're gonna see in um, the link preview. So then if I wanted to, I can save this to my library and then wherever I have it scheduled to post curated content, that's going to go out. Now, I like to do a little something extra. Bonus, dee -dee -dee -dee. okay, bonus. One, Meet Edgar wants you to shorten links with their little link shortener. I'm not gonna do that because I've got my Snipply link shortener and I don't want things to get confusing. Also, because we're talking about newsworthy stuff, many times it expires. So I'm gonna think about, all right, what's the lifespan of this actual piece? Mm, I think it's probably a week. So I'm actually gonna have it so it's gonna expire. It's not going to post after this date because then, oh, you know what, look. It looks like actually this event is happening January 15th through the 17th. So I might actually put it up until then. Maybe I'll put it till the 13th. Um, and so now it's saved to my library. Also, um, if you want to, you can, add variations to this. So if you wanted to maybe make three different posts between LinkedIn and Twitter, especially Twitter is such a rapidly running river of content that you could easily post the same article a few times. Um, not, you know, not too close in succession because um, Twitter doesn't like that, but Meet Edgar knows what those variances are. Anyway, you can add more variations onto this. So again, you're making that, you're using this piece of content that you didn't even have to create in the first place and you're making all of this other stuff from it, right? So then I can, uh, I'm just gonna delete that for right now. And then for now, I'm going to save it to my library. Okay, so that is a quick way that you can one, Take curated content that other people have made that you do not have to make uh, and simply add your two cents on it. So that's Feedly. Two, you go into Meet Edgar. You add it to the social media accounts you want to post it on. You create a couple of variations for it. And while you are doing that, you snip the link. So Feedly, Meet, Snipply. You can remember that. Then you will be able to create a lot more content faster. I would love to hear if this is helpful, helpful for you. If so, please, what are you going to do? Please uh, tweet out hashtag downstage wins or um, yeah, use the hashtag downstage win, downstage win. Use the hashtag downstage win and tell me how it's worked out for you. All right, thanks so much.